a political circus across the country, now performing in the center ring acts of waste, corruption, and abuse of power. They've had fun at the taxpayer's expense. Ladies and gentlemen, Crew presents the worst governors in America. In America. Scott Walker's specialty is juggling the Koch brothers' agenda, turning his back on Wisconsin workers. Walker pushed anti-union laws for the extremist billionaires who contributed millions to support Walker. Paul LePage is a loose cannon. LePage bullied and fired state workers, denigrated the NAACP, and compared our government to Nazi Germany. LePage also made profane and sexual references about other politicians. But he's the first one to give it to the people without providing Vaseline. Step right up for some of Bob McDonald's snake oil. He publicly endorsed new medical supplements from a campaign donor's health care company. That donor gave the governor access to a plane, a Ferrari, and a lake house. The donor spent $15,000 catering the governor's daughter's wedding and bought the governor's wife, designer shoes, a handbag, and a $10,000 jacket during a Manhattan shopping spree. The gifts that come to other family members under the current law are, uh, are, are not reportable. Watch Rick Scott bend over backwards to help his friends and himself. Scott used state offices to benefit a company he invested in and rewarded campaign donors with government appointments. Scott even twisted election laws to make it harder to vote in Florida. Governor Deal, master of sleight of hand. Deal hid that he used his office to help a business partner, helped a big campaign donor, and fired state investigators to make his ethics problems disappear. He even concealed paying his daughter-in-law through his campaign. But while Nathan Deal was running for governor, his campaign paid $90,000 to a fundraising company linked to his daughter-in-law. But the I-Team could find no mention of Denise Deal's name in any of the company records available to the public. Elephants may not forget, but Rick Perry does. He said he was a fiscal conservative, then funneled state resources to his presidential campaign, abused his position to benefit his family, double-dipped a pension, and slurps from a state slush fund. This special interest sideshow includes Steve Bashir, Terry Branstad, Jan Brewer, Tom Corbett, Andrew Cuomo, Nikki Haley, Bill Haslam, Bobby Jindal, John Kasich, Susanna Martinez, Pat McCrory, and Rick Snyder. Read the report today. It's proof that not all clowns are in Washington.